Hi, this is Kevin from Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at questions 1 to 5 of the Junior Math Challenge from 2018. If you're preparing for the Junior Math Challenge, also take my free online course, uh, Get Ready for the Junior Math Challenge. In that course, you can practice real questions from recent Junior Math Challenge papers. Every question has a video hint as well as a full video solution, and there are no ads or distractions like there are here on YouTube. Uh, sign up in the link below, no payment details required or, not, or anything like that, totally free of charge, so have a look at that now. There is also an upgrade course called Go for Gold in Math Challenges, and in that course you can learn about all of the techniques you need for the Math Challenges and practice on loads of original practice problems that I've made up there as well. But you can have a go at the free course first. It's a big course and it's very substantial and it'll really help you prepare uh, for the Junior Maths Challenge. So I really hope that I'll see you over there. In question one, we just want to start by adding 222 uh, to 22. So that's nice and easy here. We get 244 and then we can divide that by two. You can probably do this in your head as well. Uh, we just get 122 and so the answer is C. For a super efficient method, you might just uh, notice that you could divide uh, them each by two and add them together, so the answer is just 111 plus 11 and get to 122 really quickly like that. So there were seven people standing uh, before nine people leave the carriage. At that point, all those seven people can sit down and there'll be two spare seats. So when 28 people get on, uh, two of them can take the spare seats and have, there'll be a 28 minus 2 which is 26 who will have to stand. You could also uh, actually count the number of people on the train at each point if you find that easier so you could say initially there were 80 plus 7 or 87 people on the train uh, when, seven, when 9 people get off uh, that means there are then 78 and then 28 people get on uh, so we can add 28 to this and say there are 106 there'll be 106 people on the train, 106 minus 80 is 26, uh, but I think my first way is slightly faster, but there's a few different ways you can do the uh, ordering of the additions and the subtractions here. If we take a square and draw a diagonal exactly across it, uh, we know this is a right angle, so it would be 90 degrees in total in the corner of the square, and uh, this diagonal splits that exactly into, ha into half, right, so there'll be 45 degrees on this side, and 45 degrees on this side. We also know that in an equilateral triangle all the angles are equal and they have to add to 180 so you should know that all the angles are 60 degrees each and the angle we're looking for here is just the sum of a 60 degrees from the equilateral triangle and 45 degrees from half the right angle and 60 plus 45 is equal to 105 and so the answer is A. In a regular shape all of the sides have the same length we know the edge of the regular octagon is 10 centimeters, and an octagon has, 10, has 8 sides. So 10 times 8 is 80 centimeters, is the perimeter of the decagon. We know the decagon is 8 times the perimeter of the octagon, so the decagon's perimeter is 8 times 80, which is 640. The decagon has 10 sides, and uh, so each of its uh, edges must be 640 over 10, which is 64 centimetres long, and so the answer is E. So if we start at 6.15, two hours later would be 8.15, so that's already two hours, which is 120 minutes, and I need to get to 8.48. 48 minus 15 is 33, so there's another 33 minutes to add on here, and so I get a total of 153 minutes. And the answer is A. So I really hope you found this video useful. Don't forget, if you're preparing for maths challenges at any level, I've made free courses for all of the maths challenges. You can find links uh, in the descriptions below. Uh, click there and sign up to those now. No payment details required, uh, nothing like that. So you can sign up totally free of charge. There are some upgraded courses as well with some extra content if you really want to master the challenges you can sign up for those as well but there's loads over there uh, for free so i really hope that i will see you over there soon